So scalar resolute of B on A. So what was the first step I said to do? Find the, the unit vector of the second vector, the thing on A. So if this is B and this is A, this is B, this is A, we're doing B on A, so we're like pushing B onto A. So we're finding the scalar resolute of B on A. So first step, we want to find what this is. How do we turn a vector into a unit vector? The unit vector is the vector divided by its magnitude. In case you forgot. So turning a vector into a unit vector, we need to find the magnitude. How do we find the magnitude of a vector? If this is if this is A and this is Pythagoras, X and Y. Perfect. So it's the x squared plus the y squared using Pythagoras. That gives us the magnitude, the length of the vector. So 8 squared is what? 64 plus 36 is? Oh, look at that. I conveniently picked a nice number. So now we found the magnitude of A. We're turning A into a unit vector. So we're going to do 8i plus 6j divided by the magnitude over 5j. Okay, split it up into fractions and then divide by 2 on top and bottom. So that's the unit vector of A. So now the scalar resolute of B on A, what do we do? Do the dot product of A and B. So we do x1 times x2, or the x of A times the x of B. plus the y of a times the y of b, or y1 times y2. So you're left with 4 plus 3, so you've got the answer 7. So this is how much of b is on a, 7 units, okay? There's this thing called a vector resolute. So again, it's projection, but this time you get a vector answer. So this is B, this is A. You can either get a vector resolute of B parallel to A, so we're moving B that way, or you can get, so like B parallel to A, or you can get um, the vector resolute of B perpendicular to A. So like kind of opposite projection. So these are both vector resolutes and these are the formulas. If we get time I'll explain this in a bit more. So these two formulas are vector resolutes the projection of a vector to get a vector answer. So B parallel to A. Does anyone remember the formula? Because I couldn't be bothered waiting for you. So first step, what did I say is find the hat thing. What's the hat thing? Anyone else? Of vector A. Let's find the unit vector version of A. 
Look at that. It's the magnitude. It's the same as the example we did before, which is 10. Uh, what was it? 4 over 5i plus 3 over 5j dot b is 5i plus 5j and then we're multiplying by that one. So what was the answer? 7? Unit vector. Seven times four, someone. So that is the what? <laughs> the vector resolute of B parallel to A. So we projected B onto A. the vector resolute.